Hello friends, welcome back to your channel Learn and Earn, myself Dayanand and this is Excel VBA 2016 part 13 for beginners to advanced edition of the 30 video series so we are on the 13th video today so today's topics are uh, we'll discuss more about Excel uh, 2016 user forms user forms are most uh, attractive and informative and also exciting when you work on these user forms and they are very uh, program oriented they're not macro so they're <clears throat> you can easily uh, program every bit of it including the button including a uh, text field every bit of it you can program and present as if it looks like an application okay and these applications are made up for a certain uh, objective say for example filling online uh, typically uh, information filling a uh, form filling or some calculators a certain objective will be there based on the objective we click we create a user form like a timer calculator counts number of uh, emails you work so if you're working in a in an office uh, where you have where you work on a lot of emails a day and you want to keep a track of uh, those cases what you receive so you can use excel user forms to develop you can also use user forms to develop time taken for each individual case which can also be stored and retrieved anytime in future excel can also be used like a database say you are a telephone operator and you're receiving phones phone calls and you want to record their information rather than typing there in the excel file you can typically create a user form and then start entering those data and click on submit at the end so stay tuned to this channel so i, I can ensure that you will be an advanced vba programmer from the beginner okay so before we continue please do not forget to subscribe to my channel learn and earn so i do not want you to miss any of these videos so so always start from the first video and from the daily one video go back home and practice it and yes you will be an advanced from there you can move on to the expert level okay let's get this started now i'm on excel uh, 2016 you'll go to developer and then click on visual basic so here is our visual basic editor now you will not have the user form earlier let me show you how to import an user form go to insert and click on user form so you get an user form which is typically a blank form blank form form is nothing but where a label and a text field and a button or even a drop down menu uh, all these controls can be found in the form say an application form in a bank you will find your name and next to it you will find a field to enter your name that is called a form the same concept here user form it is a digital form okay so this is the area where you can design your user form and then you will also be able to program by just double clicking on the button on the user form or on the button say for example you use a button and you paste it here and double click on it to program that button okay we'll learn this slowly no problem and then here you on the left side bottom you will find all the properties associated with the user form all the properties say for example here you see the title for the user form which says user form one here this is where the the title caption coming from this can be changed to something else let us say i'll name it as my channel name learn and earn here we go so whatever you type here in under caption will be showing on the title of this screen okay also you can set what kind of color you want it to be so you can see a back color here a border color you can choose any color you want to from the list or you can choose it from the palette and that color will be applied to your user form so based on your creativity choose a form color choose whatever you want to add and start programming okay and these are the this is called a toolbox where all tools available to program your excel user form is found here so this is a label this is a text field and this is a combo box and then list box so on we will use them as we progress in our excel tutorial okay so how do i use it it's very simple you just click on it and then drag how big you want using your mouse okay label yes you can give label say i'll make a simple form saying first name 
that's it this is how a user form will look like i use a text field next to that sorry a text box next to that to enter the username say first name okay something like this so <clears throat> and these properties can also be changed using the properties here you find a back color you can change it to any color you want to so you could see that and you, for this you can also choose the color of the font like what color it should show when somebody types on it by default it will be always black okay if i run this you see the user this is how the user form will appear on top of excel so you just press uh, f5 or this button so here when we type it is showing in black color right this can also be set to some other color using the four color using this four color okay so this is the basic introduction i'm giving you here let me quickly create a small form the user form which will tell us uh, just to demonstrate it for you look at this form it says E asking for email address and the password and sign in button so the, I have chosen the color background light blue and then I have email these letters are in white color and then yes the button uh, some font changed to a uppercase and some uh, higher font size is used so you can do whatever you would like to based on your creativity you can certainly develop a beautiful looking user form and also you may close the excel from being displayed say for uh, let me show you how do i cl close it if i just hide the sheet the sheet will not be visible for me so all i will be able to see uh, just a form okay so this is how you can create a big form collecting all the information and then continue with that okay and maybe you can store those information in somewhere in the excel file okay let me continue to show uh, let me show you some small bit of program here yeah the program is ready i'll show you in a second but let me show you the demo of this now this is the login form it will ask my email address and the password if i enter the right password it will let me log in okay my user email address is dan and gmail.com and the password for this user form i have set for one two three when i now click on sign in it should say sign in successful say so login successful perfect now if i enter something else it will say invalid credential invalid details try again now the one problem here i you shouldn't be showing the password because password has to come with some symbol like this right let we can also do that i wanted to show you that you click on any text field the text box and then go to the property scroll down to the bottom and find password character here mention the character you want to show in place of whatever the input you receive i'm using star for that and now see what happens so again let me log in with the same this is a dummy email address so that nobody contacts me on this <laughs> okay so one two three you could see only the stars you don't see the password anyway okay and click on sign in it says login successful how to how have we implemented this using if else condition if you have watched my video on uh, excel vpa or uh, wait what was it a video number 11 you will find how have we done uh, if and else uh, program okay so here i'm using a small condition saying if the text box two dot value is equal to one two three why do i say text box two dot value if you go back to use the form and click on this see the name of the text box it is one click here and name of this text box is two this can be you can also change this name you can also change this name saying password and this name saying as username or you name it's up to you but if you want to leave it as it is also fine no issues with that but whatever the name you choose here the same name need to be given while programming okay the programming in a sense here say here i'm i have just now said text box 2 but it is changed to pwd so i should be changing it to pwd dot value is equal to one two three then show this message login successful otherwise else otherwise show this in my invalid details please try again 
okay this is how simple the coding background it is now you may not to store this information right there in this you can also reading this password details from the excel you will learn about it if you would like to do a homework small homework see if you can get the password from cell value say for example cells uh, one comma one and you have your password saved there and then say login uh, say an example so the password is here saying there so you should only be allowing the user to log in if the password is same as what we have in the cell cell one comma one so if i choose only there if i type that correctly it should say login successful see this password is not reading from the value we have from uh, the coding the password is reading from the excel file and matching your input with the cell value one comma one if it is correct it will let you in otherwise it will not let you in so i use some xyz and sign in it won't let me sign in okay and if you notice here i clicked on a button and i got this form up see here so this is also possible you can create a button anywhere in the excel and click on it to launch this user form uh, i'll show you here you need to choose under in dev developer and the insert you need to choose the activex control button this button in order to control the user forms okay you can right click view uh, command button object edit it saying login page login form for example and now you cannot directly assign a macro there is nothing called assign macro here like how we used to do earlier in macros no this is not a macro definitely so you just need to go to view code or simply double click on it it will take you to the page where you can literally type the program so here the user form name is user form one so type user form one dot show user show show okay that's it anytime you and then disable this you can see this is highlighted just click on it to activate run mode if you selected it it is uh we say it is design mode okay this dis dis disable the design mode and click on login form you see this button working okay so for more information on excel vba more information on uh, user form developing an application based on excel it's only available here in learn and earn my channel please do uh, subscribe to the channel please do watch videos here share your thoughts your comment and your feedback to me i definitely love to hear from you and thank you so much for watching today you have a lovely day happy learning all is well